Do you want to learn how to make your own Art Attack travel bag? To make one, you'll need a plastic bottle like this. You only need the front part here, so get a felt tip pen and draw a line on each side starting here and here. And don't forget to connect the top and the bottom. Most importantly, ask an adult to help you with all the cutting today. And it would look like this. You ready? Place the cutout bottle on a sheet of thick cardboard and outline the sides using a pencil. Then, using a ruler, connect both sides with a straight line and cut it. You'll end up with a shape similar to a square. Stick the cardboard onto the bottle with tape to make the back of the bag. Put it onto another sheet of cardboard and draw the outline of the curved base. Now do the same on the other end. Cut the shapes out and you get the lid and bottom for the bag. Tape on the bottom and save the lid for later. To make the pockets, draw two lines from top to bottom on a cardboard tube. Cut along the lines, open up the tube and tape it to one of the sides. Repeat on the other side for your second pocket. Get another cardboard tube and cut it from top to bottom, then spread it open like this. You may notice that the main pocket is bigger than the other two. Place a small piece of cardboard under each pocket and draw the outline at the bottom. Cut these out. Do the same for the large pocket on the front. Lastly, turn the bag and tape each piece on to form the bottom of each pocket. Hooray! Pockets with no holes! Our bag is shaping up. Now we'll add the strap, which should be strong enough to carry your paintbrushes, pencils, water, apples, cakes, pasta, pizza. Mm. Getting carried away there. This is a strong fabric called Hessian. Ask an adult to help find something similar or recycle one from an old shopping bag. To measure it, sling it over your shoulder or across your body. Then you'll get the ideal length. Mark the length and cut it. You'll also need a strip of material. It'll make the bag open and close much more easily. It's important that it's as wide as the width of the lid. You'll see why very soon. Attach the strap to each side with tape, then put the strap inside the basket so it doesn't get dirty while you work. To make the bag stronger, give it a coat of Art Attack paste, which is made up of half glue, half water, and strips of newspaper. Take special care with the joints between the pockets and the main bag so they're secure and there are no holes. Remember that lid we set aside? We'll coat that with the paste and newspaper mixture too. Once it's dry, connect it to the basket by brushing glue where they meet at the back. Then place the strip of material on the glue and smooth it down firmly so it sticks. Put even more glue on top. Once it's dry, you can open and close your travel bag with ease. Hmm, I wonder what you'll put in your bag. What a handy bag. Now that we've done the messy bit, you can take out the strap. It's good, but it could be better. I think it needs something else to make it more appealing. And that thing is color. So get your brushes and paints and let's get started. Let's try a nice light brown for the inside of the lid. Don't paint the outside yet, that will be painted later. Here's a tip for you. Color this inside edge here, so when you open the basket, it looks neater. Once it's dry, place the strap inside again before you carry on. Apply the same color to the rest of the bag, but don't paint the pockets. And don't forget to paint the bottom. Let's use dark brown for this small rim here and for the pockets. These colors are ideal for an outdoor adventure. Lastly, if you have some gold paint, use it to add some small buttons on the pockets. Finally, use a black felt tip pen for outlines and details. A dotted line like this will make it look like it's been hand stitched. Use your pen to outline the buttons too. Yellow crayon is great for adding some highlights on the sides. And brown is just right for shading. It looks as if the material is a bit wrinkled. Don't know about you, but I'm ready for an outing. Thanks for watching. Now click the video on the right for more great shows. Or subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Disney Channel YouTube clips.